Hey guys, so I'm so excited because today I am filming in my new filming setup. I am so stinking excited. Um, my camera mount came a lot earlier than I expected it to, so I kind of didn't have time to like reorganize everything in this room before it came and I kind of didn't want to just have it sitting there so I put it up right away and I took down my old setup so that I can try and organize and clean up before I could show you guys which if anybody was interested in seeing that I'm sorry which I, I don't know I doubt anybody was but I wanted to show you guys before I took it down so that you could see like the before and after but um I'm sorry it's not happening which is probably a good thing because it was a pretty like unattractive setup so I'm going to be doing my rewind spread for September 4th through the 10th and I'm going to be using my Coco Espresso kit with the uh, glitter header add-on. I'm so excited. This was one of the first kits that I came out with so it's a very nostalgic feeling going back and using this which is very cool. I like the feeling. Let me find the bottom washi. Oh, and I also have like a big old stack of like stickers from other shops and from my shop and stuff. So you use those and then I have these. So Super exciting and I did go ahead and um, draw some lines in pencil. thought that was like really really helpful last time so I went ahead and did that. I feel like this new setup is just gonna be like the most amazing thing to ever happen to my YouTube channel because it's just gonna make everything so much easier. It's like so much easier to see what I'm doing. I don't know if you saw the video where I kind of tried to explain my setup. I don't. I honestly don't remember what video it was in, but um, it was like I said, very unattractive and not like super functional. I mean, it did the job, but it really was a pain in the butt. It was like, so I have um, Ikea desks and I have the ones that are like rectangles and then the ones that are like, that can like be like a continuation of it, but they're like, um, they fill in a whole corner and then it's kind of like, like say they're like this, but then it's kind of like there's a little nook cut out of it right there. I've got two of those in, in the corners and then I've got two of the tables right here. And my filming setup was in this corner over here and there was like this wooden thing. It was like a wooden board with two straight things holding it up, like two other pieces of wood holding it up. And there was a hole that my husband had used a drill to cut a circle into. So the hole is like really jagged and it like was barely big enough to fit like to stick the camera on top of it so that the lens would look through the hole. And I had to have the camera sitting just right otherwise you would see like black blurry things around the edges of the camera which would be the like pieces of plywood like poking out it was not it was not a good situation um I'm actually gonna go ahead let me see I think I'm gonna use this in the yeah I'm gonna use this box in the sidebar and actually last time I used this kit I used it in my happy planner I think and I think I might have used the mini kit version it was like before I re did it was back when all of my kits were like basically mini kits I think yeah um <clears throat> and I used that kit before I even really started drinking coffee which is kind of hilarious 
So this kit, this kit only has three colors, I think. Yeah, okay. What do I want to do then? Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to do pink, light brown, pink, light brown, so that I don't have two pinks next to each other in the next, on the next page. Oops. So anyway, it was really obnoxious. It was like stuck in the corner, which I mean, wouldn't really have been so bad, but the, the piece of wood wasn't very tall. Like it was maybe like a foot and a half tall. It was barely enough space for me to like see what I was doing. And it was, it blocked all of the light that came from my lights in my room. And so it made it very difficult to see anything. And it probably also made the lighting like really terrible, which I'm hoping that now that I don't have that like big piece of wood hanging over my head, literally, um, that um, the quality of the videos will be a bit better because I'm hoping the shadows won't be so bad. I'm hoping, like I don't really know, but I'm hoping. Like when I look in the camera right now, like I can already tell, I've got way more light, like more, like it's already, it's easier to, to work with because I already feel like I've got more light. So I'm hoping that that translates into the quality of the video when I go and edit it. Okay, so I am doing, um, this kit only has three different colors. It's got um, pink, like a really light taupey brown, and then a, like a medium brown. So I'm just doing um, pink, brown, pink, brown, pink, brown, so that, because um, if I did it just like in this order, I would end up with two pinks next to each other over on the other side, which I don't really want. So it's easier just to go back and forth, back and forth. have anything specific I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, I did want to tell you guys about my new filming setup. Ooh, also, this is not very exciting probably to you, but I mean, it was exciting to me. I went to the dentist for the first time yesterday in like, not for the first time ever, but like for the first time in probably like 10 years or so, like eight to 10 years. It's been a really long time. I don't think I have been to the dentist since I was in high school. So it's probably been about 10, it's been at least eight years, probably close to 10 years. Um, which is insane, but I got good news because um, when I went to the dentist, since I hadn't been to a dentist in so long, they did like a full workup of all the, um, like a full mouth, um, ex I don't know what they called it, a full mouth of x-rays um, and everything. They did like the exam and uh, <clears throat> the dentist was like, I don't... <laughs> Like the insecure part of me <laughs> just wants to say, oh, he's just telling you that to be nice because he, he was like a really nice guy, like almost too nice to the point where you're like, uh, is this genuine? But I mean, I, I don't, I don't have any reason to think it wasn't, but it was just like my own insecure voice in my head saying, he was just saying that to say it. It's not true. But he said that like, he never would have guessed like just by looking at my x-rays and looking at like my teeth, if I hadn't, you know, said anything, he never would have guessed that it's been 10 years since the last time I went to a dentist because apparently um, my teeth are like really good. <laughs> um, he said that it, like just by looking, um, he would have guessed that I go on a regular basis, which is pretty funny to me. He's like, you must have like really amazing teeth genes in your family. Um, uh, because yeah, I can't even tell that it's been 10 years since you last went to a dentist. So that's pretty awesome. And I mean, I do take pretty good care of my teeth, but I don't feel like I take like any like special precautions. Like I brush and floss and use mouthwash like any other normal person would, I'm assuming. I don't do any like 
like whitening things or anything like my teeth aren't like the whitest teeth in the world and I mean they're not like yellow or anything like not like super yellow but like normal tooth color I guess but yeah it's pretty awesome and uh, the cleaning that he did he said he was like with the machine that he used he was able to get off some of the staining which is really awesome I sent a picture to my husband afterwards and he like could totally tell the difference apparently Okay, so where's my little things? What am I even doing? I'm just like blabbering on. Guys, you guys need to stop me when I do that. Okay. So I need a food little thing. But you guys, this dentist, which is really convenient because, um, and I didn't even do this on purpose, but... Um, since my husband's in the Air Force, we have uh, TRICARE, and they sent him a list of um, all of the places near us that take TRICARE. Uh, so I called for my son's appointment first, because my son's four. He just had his first dentist appointment yesterday, too. And um, I called for his appointment first, and there was only... The list for the pediatric um, dentist office was way, way shorter than like the general dental, I don't know what you call them, practitioners, I don't know. Um, but I feel like, on, am I gonna need more things on Friday, on Thursday? No. No, just a normal amount of food things um what was I saying oh yeah uh I called to make my son's appointment first and there were only three that were actually like a reasonable distance from us called one of them and apparently over the summer their office had been damaged by flooding so they weren't actually taking any new like patients and if I wanted to get an appointment like, I'd either have to wait until, like, November or something like that, or I'd have to drive, like, 30 minutes from myself to go. So I was like, eh, I'll just call somebody else. So I called the next closest, and I couldn't get anybody to answer. So then I called the one that we actually went, ended up going to, and um, I need a little TV thing for Naruto on Monday. And a little thing for Bob's Burgers. And um, so I made his appointment. And then when I looked at the list of places uh, for me to make an appointment, I found a place and I didn't even mean to. Like I picked the, I like looked up the number, like I was looking at the list. I'm trying to make sense here. I was looking at the list and... Uh, I'm gonna run out of pink TV little things. Ugh. And I saw one that said that it was in, you know, uh, the city next to me. So I started calling and then I looked at it more and I looked at the address and I was like, that looks really familiar. And I had taken a picture of the address and everything um, for the one that I called to make my son's appointment. And, uh, I need two, okay, two for Thursday. For Soul Eater and Knights and Magic. Which, Knights and Magic is like really cool. Um, And it was in the same, it had the same address, diff different suite. So it was in the same like shopping little circle thing. So that was really convenient. They were right next to each other. Which is a total coincidence on, like, I didn't mean to do that. Um, oh my god, I have three TV shows. Oh no, and I need the pink ones. Okay. I have three TV little things to put on Friday. For Destination Truth, Ancient Aliens, and Timeless, which I just caught up on Timeless, and it's like... I need it to come back, like, immediately, because it's amazing. 
I feel like I'm catching up on all the shows I've been trying to catch up on now and none of them are going to be coming back anytime soon I feel like and I'm just like having like like I'm, I'm sad I'm just sad because I want to watch more of them and I can't so then I need two on Saturday for Naruto and Timeless and two on Sunday for Naruto and Sleep Hollow. I have a lot, a lot to go until I'm caught up on Naruto. And I really, 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 really want to get caught up on Naruto. Um, I think it's Naruto Shippuden that I'm watching right now. And I really want to get caught up on that because then the next one is about Boruto, which is Naruto's son. And I, I just, I... My husband sent me a spoiler clip for that one. I don't remember what it's called. Something Boruto, I think. Anyway, um, he sent me a spoiler for it and I hate spoilers. I hate them so much because I like to be surprised. Like I do like to just follow the story. But he's the kind of person that will go and read like the last few pages of a book before he like even starts it. And it just like, it gives me an anxiety attack just to think about doing that. My dog is drinking out of the toilet right now. I can hear it. Lap, 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 lap. Do you, can you guys hear that? Oh my god, that's going to bother me. I have to go stop him. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but when my dog drinks out of the toilet, like, I really try to keep, make, like, make sure the seat's all, like, the top's always down so that he can't do it. Because it's just nasty. But... When he does, you can hear it throughout the entire house. Like, my house isn't that big. Um, and it's not, like, very... I guess it's not very well insulated because you can hear everything all over the place. Anyway, you can really, really hear it because he's got a massive tongue. So he laps up a lot of water at once. He's a um, Bull Mastiff uh, St. Bernard mix. So he's a pretty massive dog. And massive dogs have massive tongues who can lap a lot of water and it's very very loud and annoying and I'm sorry you guys probably didn't care about that but it's just like uh bothered me okay what else do I need do I need any other little things I don't think so so I'm gonna go ahead and put another glitter header in there anyway I really want to catch up on Naruto because I want to watch uh the next show my husband sent me a spoiler why am I oh, I'll just stick it down I've already got it up uh, and I hate spoilers, but it looked, what he showed me, it like looked really, really badass. And I'm like, I think I probably have like hundreds of episodes to catch up on. I mean, it might not be that much. I might be exaggerating, but I honestly don't think that I am. And I don't know what I was talking about before that. Oh, my dentist. Right. Let's get back to that fascinating story, you guys. Um, so anyway, it was like super convenient that they were right next to each other. But you guys, when I went to the dentist, not only did he tell me my teeth were apparently like amazing, like jeans wise, because apparently my teeth just look good for somebody who hasn't been to the dentist in 10 years. Um, he was like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. He was nice. Good guy. I wasn't going to say anything mean, but I feel like what I was going to say was kind of awkward, so I'm not going to say it. Okay. Um, I'm going to go day by day now. So I've got four things for Monday. Um, I want to use... I've got designing, um, my son had no school. I kind of want to use like a mini appointment label for no school. I'm going to put that up at the top here. Um, he also didn't have school on Tuesday, so I'm just going to stick that down while I remember because I kind of want them to be in the same place. And um, I did dishes, 
Designing needs a flag, dishes needs a quarter box. I'm gonna go ahead and put a full box in, I think. I'm gonna put this one in. And then I'm gonna put a flag. I think I'm gonna use the dark brown. And then I need a, I think I'm gonna do a quarter box for dishes and a half box because I ran out of, like this is a really weird thing for me to put in, but I ran out of ink in my printer. So I had to like run out and buy some real quick. So I'm gonna put a piece of a washi. And I think I kinda wanna put a piece of solid washi. I kinda do, kinda don't, but I'm going to anyway. And because I wanna use Okay, I'm gonna use a piece of patterned washi right there. And I'm gonna use the one that matches the box. So I wanna use a patterned half box. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use a patterned half box and then I wanna use a solid quarter box, which I'm gonna use I'll just use the pink one. I don't know, I can use a glitter one. Where's my glitter? I could totally use a glitter one. I'll use a glitter pink one. And then, got my little working girls. For designing. I didn't bring anything out to put for no school. Um, but that's fine. And then I did bring something out for dishes. I brought out my little dishes spikes. So I'll put him right there. And then running out of ink, I brought, where are they? I brought these, um, disco print stickers. Say, get your shit together. I just think these are the most hilarious things. I love, like... Stickers that have profanity on them. I don't know why. I'm going to use the littlest one so that I have space to write. And I'm just going to stick that right on there. I think that's hilarious. Uh, okay. And on Tuesday, at $2 Tuesdays, and... I could use the pink one. I think I kind of want to use this nude one down here though. And I will stick that down here. I have like a mark on this page. I don't know where it came from. I don't know how that happened. Okay, cool. So that's in. And... Then I have the no school, which I already put something in for, $2 Tuesday, designing, printing and cutting, and I bought some ink. So I'll put in another full box. And I'm gonna put it up at the top again, I think. I'm gonna put in this one. that I'm gonna use another flag I use a pink one and another little working girl and then I have printing and cutting which I'm just gonna do another flag for that. I'm gonna put it like opposite and I'm probably just gonna put another computer girl, probably put a different one. Um, and then I'm gonna mark that about that ink. And I'm actually gonna put, I'm gonna put a pattern piece. 
but the one that kind of matches. And then I'm going to do a solid. I'll do the pink solid half box. And then I'm going to put another flag, which, oh no, now I can't fit the flag. I'll just put a quarter box. I'll put a patterned quarter box because I can. I kind of want to use this one that has like the coffee beans on it. And I'm just going to use another. I'll use a different one. I'll use the one with the hair down. Which that looks kind of crazy having the, like three of them right there in one spot, but whatever. I'm just not gonna look. I could have put this down here. I should have, but too late now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let it bother me. And then I bought ink. So I actually bought, I brought out some little shopping. These were um, yesterday's $2 Tuesdays. So actually I actually think I'm gonna use the big one. Yeah, I like that. Okay, there's that. Those for buying ink. And Wednesday, designing. And I'm going to put that down here because I don't need another one of these girls like right up in here. So I'm going to put this full box down here. flag. I kind of want to use the dark brown one again. How many other things do I have for this day? Dishes. Okay, so I need two quarter boxes and a half box. Okay, I'll put this kind of far down here. And I'll put my little fox and cactus girl again. Which I love these girls. So cute. And I'm going to need a piece of washi up here. This is such a coincidence, but I'm using like all the full boxes that have matching washi. So funny. And then I'm going to need. Another piece of washi right here. I'm gonna put in a half box. I kind of want to use a. Actually, you know what? I was gonna put the. Yeah, I want to put the half box all the way at the top. And I'm going to use. You like. Actually, I'm gonna use the pink one. Why not? I'm gonna use the pink half box. And then I'm gonna do two quarter boxes. So I'll do, I think I'll do a solid and then a pattern. I probably should have different, did a different solid one then, but oh well, it's not going to bother me. So I brought out another disco prince thing and it says hey girl you should shave your legs because i did i needed to and i did and i like that those fit on the half box just enough so that you see the border of the half box and it just covers it all up it's not gotta write anything uh then i had dishes and washing my hair. So another dishes. I'm gonna put the spike up here because I don't want really I don't want them like in the same at the same level. I would like prefer if they're at different levels, kind of if that makes sense. And then I brought my fox and cactus washing hair ones, and I'm gonna use the little girl that's singing. Happy and singing. She's gonna go right here. 
cool. And then Thursday, I have Target. I made a call. Um, it was cheat day and I went to sushi. So I think I'm actually going to use a mini appointment label for sushi. And I'll use a full box. Mm. Yeah, because I want to use this one. And I'll put this one actually like in the middle. And then I'm going to put a piece of washi up here. I'll use a piece of pattern washi for up here. I think I'll use a piece of solid down here. I want to use this taupey one, I think. Hope that's not a mistake. And then... What else do I have? Okay, so cheat day. Let me look at my cheat day stickers. Let me see if I have another one of those big ones. Because I have the Fox and Cactus cheat day stickers that I want to use. Or like fast food stickers, I guess. Yeah, there's one right there. I mean, I didn't get a burger, but whatever. I don't care. I'll use a half box for this. So, I'm going to use the P. Nah, I'm going to use a taupe half box. I guess it's kind of like a taupey color. It's like a, it's just it's light brown. I'm just, I keep calling it taupe. I don't know why. I guess it is kind of taupey. And then I'm going to use this one. I don't know if I should center. I think I'm going to center it. I don't know. I don't know if I should center it. Well, if I put it off to the side, will I have enough? I won't have enough room to write it anyway, so I'm just going to center it. It's not centered. It's as best as I can get it. Okay, and then I need... I think I'm going to use the last appointment. Do I need the other the appointment label for anything else? Oh, I'm going to use the last mini appointment label. And I'm actually, this is for sushi, so I'm going to go ahead and take one of the icons, the food one. Here's the little food one. And I'm going to put that up there. And then I'm going to put, I need to put something for, this is for Colleen Willie, and then I need a quarter box for Target. So I'm actually going to use a glitter quarter box, if I can, there's, they're like upside down, sitting right here. Um, I'm going to use the dark brown glitter quarter box. And then I'll put this appointment label in right here. I'm going to flip it, but... Nah. Okay, so I need a phone one for calling Willie, and then what was this other one? Target. I keep forgetting. Oh my god, so where's my shopping ones? I don't have any that are like specifically for Target, so I brought out the little shopping ones. I'm gonna use a mini one since it's a quarter box. Put that there. And then Friday, new releases, and, oh wait, oh, okay, I need a new releases, so I'm going to use the same, I'm just going to ignore the fact that they're playing taps right now, and I'm going to use the same, um, like, nudie color that I use for $2 Tuesday. I need that and then I need a Bill Dew. I don't have that nude color in the Bill Dew. But I use this I use this like blush like light blush pink color for um I had to pay preschool this day. So I'll just put a Bill Dew for that. And 
I actually brought out my little like bill paying spikes and I'm gonna put one in here I'm just gonna cover up like the paid dot because it's in my rewind spread so I know I paid it uh what else nails in dishes I don't think I'm gonna use I'm just gonna use washi I'm not gonna use a half box for this uh but let's see I'm gonna put pattern washi down here and then kind of want to put solid washi up here or maybe I'll put solid washi in the middle and then yeah I'll put some pattern washi up at the top and then what did I want to use for these I guess I'll use a half box and a quarter box. I kind of want to use. I kind of wanted to use two quarter boxes, but I should have thought about that before I put those washies down. So I'm going to use. Should I use a salt a patterned? I'm going to use this patterned half box here for doing my nails. Actually, you know what? It's a good idea to use that one for my nails because. Like, it's been a million years since I did my nails. And then, this one is for dishes. So where's my dishes? Doing a lot of dishes these days. Dishes spike. And then I've got a little Scribble Prints Co. sheet of nail polishes. I think I'm going to use the brown one. Yeah. I use the brown one and I will stick it right there. And that's it for Friday. Thir I mean Saturday. Why am I saying Thursday? I don't know. Um, YouTube binge. Bunny cage. New sticker storage. Okay, where's my bunny cage stickers? I'm gonna do a quarter box for the bunny cage. I need a full box. I'm gonna use this one right here. Because I really got this one. And I don't know if I wanna put that up here. I kinda wanna put it like down here. Is that weird? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going, cause this isn't lining up. I think about the the little things on Crooked. So I'm gonna put a piece of washi first, some pattern washi. I'm gonna put that down so that I can put the full box straight and there won't be like a white gap. So I'm going to try and put the full box down as far as possible. Okay, that bothers me a lot less than like there being a white gap, but can you, can you see that? So, it's not as bad as there being a gap, so I like that. Okay, and then, quarter box, quarter box, quarter box? I mean, I could, I could totally do that. I think I might do that. So, some washi, which I'm gonna use the dark brown up here. And then I'll use Glitter 
quarter box. I'll use the taupe one because I just don't want pink next to pink. Just not feeling it. And then I'll put another piece of washi in here. Just like right on top of that one. And then I'll use a I'm use a patterned one. Actually, I'm going to use this one right here. And then I'm going to use the dark brown solid one. Which, oh, I don't want to cover that. I don't know what to do, you guys. This is not good, not good. I'm actually going to put it down right here. Like I feel like that's the least offensive spot to put it because I don't I want you to be able to see that there's a chocolate. I want you to be able to see that there's a handle. And I definitely don't want to cover the top. So that's where it's gonna go. And I brought out these for YouTube binge. Use the small one. Put this here for YouTube binge. This I'm gonna put the bunny cage put the top and I'll use the pink one and I'll put that over here and I'm going to use one of these clean cage things which I don't like how that fell but here we go clean cage and then this is Chopin I bought some new, did a lot of shopping this week, I guess. Bought some new sticker storage because I knew that I was going to be changing up my situation. So, now we're on Sunday. What did I do on Sunday? Oh, I painted my nails again. This, this day, I used some nail wraps. I actually used some nail wraps that I got from Erin Condren. And I have come to the conclusion that I'm just not a fan of nail wraps. I don't know if it's because my like nails are oddly shaped or something, but nail wraps just never fit my nails properly. Like they're always too wide. I guess I maybe have like narrower nails. They're always too wide. Like, and I know you can cut them down and everything, like file them off, but for some reason they just like, the edges always like stay like slightly peeled up and then they just bother me. So I don't think I'm a nail wrap person. I think I'm like a normal nail polish person. So I ended up ripping those off and like repainting them to this color, which I love and actually matches the spread really well, but it was not intentional at all, but it's just awesome. An awesome little coincidence. Uh, okay, I got out some little pizza girls so I got Domino's on Sunday and I painted my nails again and then I announced um, the new PR team search on Instagram so I think I'm going to use hmm, I'm going to use this one because I don't want to have to struggle with um Actually, you know what? I'm I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna use this one. I am gonna use the. Is that gonna look weird next to the? Yeah, I'm just gonna use this one. I don't want it to look weird next to the um other cup thing. So stick that in there and I need some washi. Use a piece of pink. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Pink washi. And I wanted to use a half box. I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of washi down here before I forget. To use a half box for announcing the PR team. So I'm going to put that down here. And I'm going to use a patterned 
half box. Powdered half box for announcing the PR team. And then I wanted to use a quarter box for painting my nails and a quarter box for dominoes. So I'm going to use, I need another piece of washi. Use a little solid pink one. Another thing about this setup that's really awesome is I can get my face like right up on my planner to see what's going on and my head doesn't get in the way of the camera and I don't have to worry about hitting my head on the piece of wood that's right there. So it was really difficult for me to see what I was doing before. And I need another quarter box. What, I was gonna use a solid one or I'm gonna use a glitter one. Do I have any glitter ones left? I only have a pink glitter one. I can use a pink solid one or a pink glitter one. I'd rather use a glitter one. You know? Do I want to put that in here? Or like, I'm going to put that down here by the half box. Okay. So, pizza. I'll put a little pizza girl. These are from Control Kawaii. They're like super singing cute. And then, I need another nail thing. I think I'm going to use the, I should have brought out the solid ones. I don't know why I brought out the glitter ones because I got the solid version of this too. I'm going to take like the taupey color right here. Put that in right there and then I need something to mark announcing the PR team which I didn't bring any like characters out or anything. So I'm going to see if I have anything here that I can use. Mm, I could use this. Yeah. You know what I will. I'm going to use this and I'm going to put it on top of a mini flag. But I don't know what color mini flag to use. The pink one probably. And then I'll put that up. Right there. Which isn't like as pow as I would like it to be, but eat the works. I'm actually going to go in and put my TV shows in real quick before I forget because I... Oh no, I know what I wanted to use. I brought the Tsum Tsums out. I wanted to put a Tsum Tsum. I'm going to take that off because the Tsum Tsums are cuter. Let's get rid of that. Um, I kind of want to use the little, like Chippendale, I don't know which one is which. I'll use the darker one. Put that right there. Okay. Uh, and this is a freebie from Odd Loop. I'm going to put my TV shows in. That's what I said I was going to do. So on Sunday, I've got Naruto. Actually, I have Naruto on Saturday as well. And I have it on another day too. Monday. And then, let me just do this in order now. Bob's Burgers on Tuesday. unknown and then timeless but I don't have a sticker for timeless <gasps> no I wanted to put the movie marquee for the journey to the center of the earth okay I'm gonna try to find Okay. I don't know if 
I've already showed these before, but these are movie marquees from Odd Loop. I'm actually going to put it down here because I do really want to put that in, which may seem strange, but I really do because I love that movie. Okay. Awesome Possum. Satisfied. Okay. I don't have Soul Eater or Knights and Magic in these stickers. Probably need to make some, but I'm lazy. Did I put arg? I needed three for Thursday. Or Friday. I needed three for Friday. Why did I only put two? And then I put three on oh no, this is Friday. Oh my god, I'm going insane, you guys. And Journey to the Center of the Earth was on I don't oh my god. It's on Thursday, not on. Let me see if I can get this up. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the bottom on Thursday. I always like I always do that. I don't know why. I think it's because I use the mini happy mini happy planner for my pre like my not pre planning but like writing down everything I'm gonna put in my rewind, and it's got Thursday on the first page, but in this planner Thursday's on the second page, and for some reason that always throws me off. <sighs> I don't know what it is, it just always throws me off. That's did something happen to this? that like did ripping that sticker up did something weird to like the texture I don't know if you can see it like it's just a normal glossy sticker but it did something weird to the texture so now when you touch it it feels rough it doesn't feel smooth which it felt smooth before that's super bizarre at least I think it felt smooth before I'm pretty sure it did anyway uh yeah I don't have any stickers for the other shows on Thursday and Destination Truth on Friday and Ancient Aliens and then Timeless which I don't have in the Naruto Naruto Timeless and Sleepy Hollow which I don't have a TV thing for so that's all for the TV things now I'm going to do the sidebar I'm going to do my habit trackers. I was going to put a bill due on Sunday too, but I forgot. And it's not a big deal. It's not a big enough deal for me to go back and like put something in there now. I'm going to put a little piece of washi. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? Probably not. I'm like way off to the side doing that. Sorry. And then my other... Habit tracker. And a, another piece of pattern washi. I like saving these little tiny skinny pieces for the sidebar. It's nice to put in between the things. It doesn't take up much room, but it gives you a little bit of separation. I like it. Now, I wanted to put in my weekly. What did I do? I always forget what I did the week before. Okay. Oh, right. I put in my YouTube. But I don't have a YouTube sticker in this kit. So. Um, I'm going to do a this week sticker. And then I'm going to do the dark brown weekly. Which my sidebar is turning out really crooked. Usually it turns out decently straight, but it's like super crooked this week. Ugh. So annoying. And I don't like that. You know what? I usually get pretty lucky with the color that's on this bar. Um, like not looking bad with the kit, but I'm actually going to wipe this one out. 
because it is like bright blue on a kit that has got no blue in it at all. Which I hope this doesn't look really bad. It's me whiting it out. And I got white out on this thing, which I want to scrape off. I think that's going to be good enough. Having that like weird like white spot there is going to be less annoying to me than having a bright blue spot. Okay. Um, I'm debating whether or not I want to put a full box in or if I want to put... First of all, let me put another piece of washi down there. Um, I'm debating whether or not I want to put a full box or I think I'm going to put this personal header right in here and then I'm going to put the last ombre box I have if I can find it like where are you hiding maybe Ooh, I wonder if these will will this fit and then I can put okay let's see is this gonna fit I think that might end up fitting perfectly that would be crazy do it now. Let's see. Do I like it better with the dark or the? Mm, so many choices. Kind of like this one better. Kind of. And then I'm going to put this full box because I really want to use this one. Oh, and there's just like the smallest little sliver hanging off. So let me grab some, grab some scissors. And I can snip that off in a jiffy. That's like, that's it. That was all that was all hanging off. It was nearly perfect. date dots before I forget because I probably will oh let me show you how last week turned out filled out I ended up using a dark blue um, permanent marker the same like non-brand brand that I've been using that I really really like and I went in and I used, since this kit didn't come with date dots, I used the um, date dots that I recently came out with in my shop, the black ones. So I'm going to go ahead and use the ones that come with this kit in here. And it's the fourth. Yeah, I think that's the first thing, so fourth, yeah. And then, like I've been doing for the past couple weeks, I'm going to go ahead and actually fill this out off camera, and I'll show you how it turns out um, when I do the next one. And I am going to, whoop, I'm going to end up filling this out with the with this brown um, permanent marker. It's a... Uh, ultra fine point permanent marker and it I have no idea what the brand is but I got it in a pack of like a whole bunch of them like like seriously like a whole bunch of them for like 10 bucks and they're super good oh I found that found out that our checklist whenever I kind of like how this turned out and I never get to use these so I like it and let me show you hold on 
and get situated here. No idea how long this video took. I feel like this video took like an hour. This is insane. Okay, so this is how it looks before being filled out. And let me show you what I have left in my kit. I used the whole bottom washi page. I have one heart checklist left. I've got pretty much everything left on here because I'm not gonna go through and put the deco in. Um, I like how like simple it is and I really don't wanna cover the bottom washi. So if I have spots like empty spots in the heart checklist, I might go and put some in, but as of right now, I'm not gonna use those. I have one full box left. I have pretty much this whole thing left over and it's gonna sound crazy, but I'm not gonna use my weekend banner because like I said, I don't wanna cover up the bottom washi and on this side, I already have it covered up by this. Um, so I'm just not gonna cover it up anymore. And um, I still have most of this left because I used this and I used a pretty decent chunk of that sheet. I'm almost completely done with this sheet. Um, I use pretty much all the washi in one weekly. Wait, didn't I just show you this page? Yeah, and then the full box I have left. So that is it for this video. I really, really like how it came out and the colors really lend itself to fall. So I really like it. It's like my transition into all of my fall spreads now. Except for next week is not really going to be very fall. Yeah. I don't think September is going to have very many like or any super folly spreads. So this is like really the only like fallish one that's going to be in September, I think. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, in the description box down below, there will be a link for um, the design team application. If you're interested in applying, just go ahead and click the link that is down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I, can't, I think I didn't say that yet. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye.